Welcome to the first Fit to Read of 2014. Well, the first month of this year is just ending, so let's go over all the comics that I was able to catch up on. Starting off is Mega Man 33, which I didn't really catch up on. It's just, I picked this issue up because of this awesome cover, so I'm not sure what the story is inside. I got an idea, but I didn't read it because I need to read the issues before this. So let's move on to Sonic the Hedgehog, issue 256. I did read all the issues before this one and I gotta say wow they're actually rebooted the world pretty well so far and I'm liking it it's a fresh take on a lot of things but a lot of familiarities so kinda of sad of how they had to change a lot of the stuff but all this new stuff it's like it's gonna fit pretty well and this is gonna what looks like gonna lead to a Sonic Un Unleashed Sonic Unleashed uh, adaptation of a story arc and who knows what else is gonna come and then we're moving on to Sonic Universe issue 59. And as much as I really did like the Shadow the Hedgehog game, I was really hoping for an adaptation of that, but no. This is more of a sequel to the game, as apparently the game events has already happened, but apparently there are still some aliens left. And so it's up to Shadow to, once again, stop him. But is he able to do that with this new breed of alien that nobody's seen before? With New types, not only that, but does anybody really trust him anymore? And can they do this while the planet, like in the Sonic issue, is exploding under everybody's feet? And then going on to the good old zombie section of comics. Starting off with Night of the Living Deadpool, number one. I was kind of interested in checking this out. I mean, I'm not a Deadpool fan, but I do like what issues I have of him. In this, it's all black and white except for Deadpool himself and two flashback pages. But it is very nicely looking, giving it sort of like a, not necessarily Walking Dead feel, but a horror movie feel. Deadpool himself is very funny, and this is a new type of zombies that I've probably only seen once before in a Doctor Who episode, where these are zombies that are after your flesh, but they also talk. But the voices that are talking are of the past lives that the zombies used to be while the zombies themselves right now are the monsters so you got people's voices saying I'm so sorry some asking what's happening others even trying to encourage the zombies to go eat Deadpool I think there was even a couple of fanboys in there saying hey that's Deadpool so I am very interested in this new type of zombie I like how this whole Deadpool thing is going unfortunately there's only the one voice for Deadpool unlike previous comics I've read of him where he had two voices in his head and his actual mouth voice there's just his mouth voice in this so sort of disconnected from the other Deadpools I know but I don't know maybe the other voices will come back but I gotta say for four bucks I was ready to leave this on the shelf because I from what I was flipping through before I read it it didn't seem like four dollar material but once I saw there's a free bonus digital issue inside, I figured, yeah, that will be worth a dollar. As for issue two, uh, I'm going to have to see if there's a digital issue in that. So, I don't know, maybe if I flip through it and it's worthy enough, I'll pick it up. But right now, I'm very happy with the first one. And now we're going to Afterlife of Archie, issue three. My God, with uh, all the love I had for the first issue that was a little wavery for the second one for some reason, it all just came back. This is just a lot of great horror movie stuff in here. Coloring's great, writing's great, we got flashbacks, we got a dream sequence. So I gotta say, I'm a big fan of Afterlife of Archie. I'm just kinda sad that the whole Escape from Riverdale arc is now halfway over. Coming up after this is a Sabrina the Teenage Witch arc where she does stuff, which I gotta say, it's good to see what happened to her after issue one. But I just sort of kinda like if this was sort of a zombie only driven thing. But. There are more monsters coming, so uh, I'm sure that I'll start. I'm, I mean, I'm sure I'll like them uh, as much as I like the zombies so far, but we will see. In the meantime, this is a great issue. And now to the grand old Walking Dead. Uh, picked up issue 119, and what this one covers is well, second phase of Rick's plan is accomplished. And so, just as got everybody gets to get a breather. Uh, what he expected was coming finally came and so that leads into issue 120 which is just constant action of where the issue 119 left off so half of the war is now over who is to say who's going to win and who's going to survive it's sort of up in the air but i'm going to call it in here rick's going to die 
unlikely that they'll do it, but that's just what, I, what I'm picturing. So thank you for uh, watching Fit to Read, and have a ha have a good day. Really, I mean it. Happy New Year.